you know those days it was a trench warfare war was face to face there was a trench which was occupied by germans my father was the section commander that time that is a nike on the night of 23rd 24th november 1914 he led the attack and injured about 7 to 8 uh, or killed about 7 to 8 uh, germans he was severely injured on his head on his arm and he was profusely bleeding but he said that so long the cap- the trench is not fully captured i will not uh, leave the position and he was awarded the victoria cross by king george v here it is written for valor for valor till first world war people have no much idea about as to what is the what is the gravity of the war he was so much affected by the devastation of the war possibly losing his friends in right in front of him it is not a good thing to kill another person possibly he himself benefited so many people which was for someone else's uh, sake and he never wanted war things to be repeated he had two three guns he never went for hunting he said that killing any even a killing a bird is one should not kill anything he realized that you can survive so long the god's hand is on you he was absolutely illiterate when he joined the army he used to say that they are, we are far far behind than what those people are so backward we are people in, in our area even didn't know uh, didn't see a vehicle his outlook changed he saw the world in fact the life of the people of our area was just like a frog in the well but after visiting all over europe and uh, fighting in the war and seeing the how the world is progressing his out, outlook changed and his um, basic change was that there should be more education there should be one should live well king george himself definitely asked him that what do you want he said that in my area there is no school our children are absolutely illiterate so in case a educational institution could be established in a place like karan prayag and sure enough after within a uh, year or so a middle school was established at karan prayag that is a very wrong impression uh, some people have got that Indian troops who fought in the first world war and second world war they fought for a different country i i entirely do not agree with it they fought for the indian nation that time.